Hey, what's up? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I've been kind of feeling really, really dizzy for the whole day. Got a headache and all, you know. Yeah, I know. Okay, fine. I'll just take some Tylenol or something. I'll meet you up. Okay, I'll meet you up in an hour. Bye. Time you show up. Hey, hey, hey. sorry, sorry. Hey, man. I got this new, new trick to show you, man. You ready? Let's do this. Alright, give me a minute. I was practicing, man. Uh, oh shit. I'm going to need you to follow my finger with just your eyes.
But one time it's one time it's at one place, another time it's at another place. Okay, we're gonna conduct one more test, okay? Okay. I need you to set up here, please. Alright, I'm gonna play you a video and you're gonna have to show you're gonna have to tell me what you can see. Okay. okay. You don't see just one dot moving back and forth? No, there's two dots just blinking on and off. Alright. So I completed it in our logical exam. And? Well, it was pretty normal for the most part. Um, he was oriented to time and space, he could recognize objects, he can take motion with his hands, but the only deficit is a kinetopsia. Kinetopsia. Motion blindness. Cool. for me than you do. Well, what do you mean better news? The patient's fine except for the one deficit. <sighs> yeah, but we still have no idea what caused a 20-year-old male to have a stroke. You know, kill JFK. I don't want to hear urine? it. Yeah, I need to know if he's on drugs. Drugs can't cause his symptoms. I know. Anyways, so I ran the results. His immune count is normal. Clotting factors are normal. It just seems like there's a nutrient deficiency. Is there any sign of lymphoma? If you look here, his lymphocytes show no signs of nodules. Well. Looks like you wasted your time then, didn't you? Patient just had a transient ischemic attack. <sighs> well, looks like we're back to the drawing board. What could have caused this? Maybe an infection? No, his white blood cell count was normal. DIC? <sighs> Disseminated intravascular coagulation is a symptom, and his client factors are normal. Go get a CT scan. I want to make sure no other damage has been done. What are you waiting for? For the next one, is brainstem and kill him? Go! Oh, at 19. Don't forget to search the house. Look at these brain scans. Dr. Schachter would be fascinated by this patient. He's amazing. <sighs> Well, one of you guys have been in here busy wasting our time, the CT scans finally came in for our patient. So, anything look wrong here? 19 for the gold star? Well, it looks yeah. like... Yes, you're right. He's got a huge lesion in his, his uh, medial temporal and extrastriate cortex. That explains the, uh, the kinetopsia. What's fascinating is that all of his other V1, V2, his other visual regions in LGN have all been spared. Still working on this? I don't know. We upgraded to Max. Seems like everybody has a Mac nowadays. That's what are you it. doing? I'm going to save our patient. Who are you? You idiot! This is all your fault. You have a heart valve infection caused by cytomegalovirus. How, how can I get cytomegalovirus? I'm, it's ubiquitous really... in all humans, but it doesn't cause a problem unless you're immune deficient. It can't be an infection. His immune response, his immune levels were normal. Exactly. His immune system was so crappy that normal levels is it actually trying to fight infection. Who are you? <sighs> Dr. Kondo, I'm the person here that saved your life. How can you be immune compromised? Because. All he does is eat Hot Pockets and drink Red Bull. He doesn't have any nutrients. His body can't fight an infection. Hot Pockets is all the nutrients you need. Anyway, how, how, how can I get rid of this, whatever I have? <sighs> Start him on a high nutrient diet for the immune deficiency. Start him on interferon to clear off the infection. 
Well, did I get rid of my motion blindness? You're stuck with different light. No. Seriously, there has to be something else. There's nothing we can do. Good call. Heart valve infection caused by an obscured virus complicated by an immune deficiency? Yeah, but it was too late for the patient. Do you think he's going to be okay? Well... The lesion in V5 has left him motion blind. Driving is going to be a terrifying experience for him. Cars and pedestrians are going to appear and disappear without warning. Even familiar things that we take for granted every day are going to seem really strange to him. His entire life is going to play like one big slideshow. He won't be able to even cross streets anymore because he's not going to be able to gauge the speed of the oncoming cars. Past patients with acanotopsia can't even pour water because they can't gauge how fast the water is rising in the cup. Even watching TV for him is going to seem strange. He'll live, but I wouldn't want to be him.